Welcome back. We are making our way All up. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. Okay, stay away from the walls then. Apparently we're in the second sphere. So we're making good progress. That seems to be our exit point. It's just a matter of getting there. And it seems that before we can go up, we must go down. It's like, I don't know, philosophy. The portal there. Can I put a portal here anywhere? That's the question now. No, but I can apparently walk across. Because that doesn't seem dangerous at all. Well, not compared to all the other things we were doing. Still no leaning on railings here. I'm sure that's there for a reason. Not for that reason, though. Let's see. What have we got? Can we see anything from there that might be interesting? Like where we need to go, or create an endless tunnel, which I didn't think, don't think I've done yet so far in this game. I am not seeing any other. Surfaces from which I could uh, do portally stuff. And I might just be looking in entirely the wrong direction as well. to get up there somehow. Ah. See, that's what I mean by annoying puzzles involving having to s search for portal services. I have a feeling this goes nowhere. Because I already saw the next surface we quite clearly need to portal to. That kind of looks like a portal surface, but it isn't. I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Okay, apparently this used to be the entrance to this test chamber. We... Seem to have uh, found a different entrance. What does it do? Oh. That launches gel. Which means that, according to what Gabe Johnson just said, doing this was a horribly bad idea. Because you were not supposed to get covered in the stuff. 
That is kind of interesting, though, because it means that we can put it wherever we want. And use it to get to new and exciting places. Well, new places. Portal there. Yeah. We will have to fling from there, I'm guessing. get there. I need some more of the stuff to go there. Let's see if I can get to that side. Wait. That's not what I meant. Not as intended. There. Now I can go up here. And place portal there. Now I just need to find a way to fling there. Do that from up there, or that doesn't sound. It does not seem to me like that would be far enough. Plus, we have those other surfaces on those pillars that we're probably going to have to use. I'm just going to try it from here, and probably fail spectacularly. Nope, that is not anywhere near close enough. It didn't kill me though, so that's a plus. So, portal there. Then find some other way around. Uh, might have been a good idea to do that. And go through that portal, so which means I need to stay up there. That works. Am I on the right track? I have no idea. No, I cannot actually jump through there. Oh, wait, I see. I'm I'm in the completely the wrong track here. That's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to put gel there, and then I can j make that jump. I thought we had to go back down and use the surfaces on the pillars or something. Apparently that's not the case. And that was apparently the wrong portal. And so much for not getting covered in this stuff. Okay, once again, watch out for that bit. Actually happened surprisingly f a few times so far. Me putting down the wrong portal. 
and therefore being unable to do a fling uh, puzzle. Normally happens quite often to me. Okay. Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Then not telling me about it would have been the um, prudent course of action. Also, I didn't have any coffee, so that won't happen to me. Is that already the end of this sphere? Seems like it. Or are we still inside the same one? Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Tiny microchip the size of a postcard. This is the 1950s. There were no microchips. Apparently, Aperture Science was way ahead of its time. Um, okay, it seems that this is the first sphere. That's good. That's different. Is that just water, by the looks of it? Let's have a drink. Ah, that's refreshing. Also, acts as a shower. Cannot put a portal there. I'm going to have to get up there. Oh, that prevents me from putting... That's annoying. And there's a button there. See if we can reach that. We can. That turns the water off, but only temporarily from the sound of it. But we made it. That wasn't too bad. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. What's its trace amount of time travel? Remember, if future you tries to warn you about this test, don't listen. It's just turned into Star Trek, didn't it? Um. We're supposed to go up there, I do think. Which to me probably means we're gonna have to splash some stuff on that wall and bounce off it. Okay. There we go. Getting the hang of this again. Good thing we turned that gel flow on, because otherwise we would have been horribly stuck here if we'd found our way around there. I guess that's the exits. Accidents hurts you.
you will be hurt. Co-workers, don't endanger others. The company, placements are costly. Science, investigations impede progress. Safety first. Yes, I'm sure they've taken that to heart. I can put portal there. Something tells me I'm still gonna have to do something with the gel. Where does this go? Into the water. And on me. What if I put that there? Yeah, I'm quite convinced that's going to be useful somehow. That's what I'm visualizing. I think this is actually here just so you can get back up if you do this. Let's see what happens. Okay, I apparently did not have nearly enough momentum. There. Could I actually fling directly onto that from here? Oh. And now I'm stuck there. Let's try and fling. Okay, so the bottom bit was actually not necessary. Good to know. For next time I play this game, I guess. What did that accomplish? Ah, forgot the cardinal rule of this game. Look up. If you're hearing this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalks between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm on the beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle can use work, though. Now let's solve this thing. The reason I'm taking a long time on the catwalks in between tests is because most of the catwalks are missing. Okay, we're not going back, apparently. More gel. There is no way in there for us, but we can get gel in there, which I'm guessing will have an effect on that. Yes. Yeah, because that's not a safety hazard. There's water there. Let's rinse this thing off. There. Now it will actually stay where we want it to stay. 
which presumably is um, on that box. Is it just a matter of getting up there? Well, it sort of had the effect I wanted. And now... I do believe... We need to... Get some stuff on the button again. There we go. Science isn't about why. It's about why not. Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science if you love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out? Because you are fired! Now you test subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you. Box your stuff. Out the front door. Parking lot. Car. Goodbye. So apparently if you like safety, you get fired. Yeah, that really gels with that safety first poster we've been seeing. Although it's probably more truthful than the safety first poster. And I think that will take us to sphere number four. And we'll see what that holds in the next video.